afternoon, teens, and welcome back to another episode of Farts and Craft. I am Max Scoville here for Destructoid, and Farts and Crafts, if you are somehow new and unfamiliar, is a show where I draw a picture of some stuff. That's it. That's what we do here. Sometimes the stuff has to do with things, other times it's real weird. Today, the stuff actually has to do with things. We've got a great suggestion for an image that I am to draw. This comes by way of Kiel Chenier. I have no idea if I'm saying your name right. And he says, Alien Isolation just got an official release date which is October 7th, by the way. It's time for Xenomorphs in goofy Halloween costumes. Because Halloween is near October 7th, so it makes perfect sense. Uh, on the other side of that, we also just got that brand new Call of Duty Ghost DLC where you can be Predator for no reason, because what's a realistic military shooter without an invisible alien that has Wolverine claws? Um, so I figured I would draw aliens and predators in Halloween costumes, because that's something that sounds like a lot of fun to draw. So let's do it now. Let me talk about aliens a little bit. Um, so yeah, Alien Isolation, looking like a pretty spooky scary game that I don't really even want to play because it looks too spooky and scary for me. Um, I learned this weekend that moray eels have inner jaws like the Xenomorph, which makes me hate them even more than I already did, which was a lot, so. Good news, moray eels, you suck. I hate you. Um, so these are gonna be, you know, guys in Halloween costumes, I guess. So we're gonna get a little bit weird here. This is going to be Dracula Alien. Which is slightly less ridiculous than some of the things that Kenner did with the action figures back in the 90s. So an interesting thing about that whole alien-predator kind of dynamic there, I guess dichotomy would be a word you could use in this situation. I think it's interesting how predators exhibit so many like archetypal male characteristics. Like they are all about rite of passage and manliness and hunting and like, you know, there are a bunch of like young dudes who get sent to go kill Navy SEALs. They're like, ah, oh, and they tear out the spines and they're like, I killed you, Jesse Ventura. I'm a man now. Whereas aliens on the other hand are strictly about motherhood. It's all about like, you know, Ripley protecting the cat or protecting Newt versus the queen, protecting the eggs and the whole thing of birth and all these kind of like, uh, you know, I guess birth related, you know, symbols. You get the vagina crabs and the egg babies and all that. But you know, it's kind of it's fitting that the predator and the alien would fight each other. The difference is, predator is kind of a bad movie compared to the Aliens movies, for the most part. I mean, it's a great action movie, but like, Alien is legitimately an amazing film, and Aliens is like a pretty much perfect action movie, and Predator is like, pretty dumb if you actually go, go ahead and watch it and pay attention. I mean, the Predator calls him a name at the end. Like, we all sort of forget that, we all kind of gloss that over. We're like, oh, this is a believable, palpable universe, but then the Predators call Danny Glover a motherfucker. You're like, remember when that happened? Because that happened. I would draw the Predator as a werewolf, but it's really hard to draw two things at the same time that are both so cool. Surprisingly enough, Predators was really good. That Robert Rodriguez one, it was just, it was just like a stupid, that was actually better than The Expendables. It was just a bunch of random action heroes on a planet together, fighting gross-ass alien dogs. I hate the Expendables. I'm sorry guys, I really do. I think it's done without any camp, and that's really the worst thing for it. If they can't tell if they want it to be a serious thing or a stupid thing, and they don't really do either well enough. I like the idea of an action movie where these action stars are just, you know, just straight up playing themselves. Like, Governor Schwarzenegger. We need you to save the president from missiles. And he'll, oh, yeah, let's go get the missiles. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, you get Jean-Claude Van Damme, and Jean-Claude Van Damme is just, like, drinking and playing DDR or something. I figure that's what he does. I feel like Van Damme probably plays a lot of DDR. Speaking of which, Van Damme was in that movie where he played himself, and it was cool. JCVD. Which is also, I, I imagine after Jean-Claude Van Damme, like, romances a lady, he's all like, Oh, you have, you have, that's right, that's Schwarzenegger. You, <laughs> he's like, you, you have JCVD now. And they're like, what? And he's like, VD, but for me. I don't know what that voice was, I'm sorry. I've had a lot of coffee, so doing a Jean-Claude Van Damme voice is tricky right now. I am really looking forward to Ridley Scott's upcoming film, Prometheus 2. Just kidding. I'm curious, but 
I'm not really too excited. Prometheus would have been great if it wasn't trying to tie itself into the whole alien thing. Because it just... They already have Prometheus too. It's called Alien. Hey, what do you know? Let's make prequels. They're dumb. It's a terrible idea. Prequels are a fundamentally stupid idea. That's it. It's a Batman. It's, it's a, it's, there's no Batman. There's Predator and there's Alien. And they're dressed as Draculas. Happy Halloween! It's March. Wait, no, it's April. So there's my drawing of the Predator and the Alien. And they're dressed like Dracula. Because Happy Halloween, everybody. It's April. Um, yeah, Alien Isolation comes out, you know, October 7th. And there's a Predator in Call of Duty. Can you see him? He's invisible. You have to find him and pay money to play as him. Um, but yeah, I, I like these, I love drawing these guys. They're so much fun. They're just great, they're great monsters. Uh, you guys should draw some some uh, some aliens and predators dressed up as your favorite monsters. What about what about an alien and a predator dressed up as Freddy and Jason? How cool would that be, huh? Somebody draw that, please, and send it to me. I'm just Max at Destructoid, or you can hit me up on Twitter. I'm Max Scoville on there. Um, you can find me on Facebook, but I'm gonna ignore you because that's for family and friends only. And uh, you know, leave your shit in the comments. Say hello. Say you think this drawing sucks, and you can do it better, and then do it better. Everyone should just go draw. Drawing's great, it's a fun time. I highly encourage it. Um, but yeah, if you have suggestions for what I should draw with next week or what I should draw next week, please let me know. Just throw some ideas out there. We're having fun together. And as always, if you'd like to learn more about games, head to destructoid.com where there's tons of stuff about games. I'm Max Scoville. See you later. <laughs>